That committee oversees immigration. Virginia Congressman Bob Goodlatte joins us now. Congressman, what went wrong here and what should be done about it? Well, both, both the government, the federal government and San Francisco are wrong here. And, and George, let me say at the outset, what a, what a tragedy for this family. My heart goes out to them. But quite frankly, the, uh, the federal government, ICE, knows about San Francisco's sanctuary policy. It's a bad policy, but they know about it. Why did they ever turn him over to them when they could have deported him again, or they could have prosecuted him for illegally re-entering the country four times and sent him to prison? Either way, Kate Steinle would be safe. The fact of the matter is, San Francisco, why would they release somebody back onto their streets who's illegally in the United States and has committed seven prior felonies when they could have contacted ICE and turned him back over to them for deportation. And again, uh, she would have been safe. So a real tragedy. The, what, what's the answer here? Should the federal government, should there be a law that requires cities like San Francisco to turn over those who've been charged in the past, those who've been deported in the past, those who've been charged with illegal crimes? Well, that is the law, and that was the law, uh, uh, the, uh, the policy regarding detainers, which is a law of the United States, was enforced by the Bush administration as being mandatory. The Obama administration has converted that into something uh, voluntary, and in, in uh, doing so, they have eliminated a program that was working called Secure Communities, where uh, individuals like this would be detained and would be turned over to the Immigration Service. Now. Uh, in addition to that, this administration is releasing criminals back onto the streets themselves. So uh, there's fault to be but, borne by both. But, but as the you fact know, the, the matter Obama, is the laws need to be enforced. The Obama administration points out that over the last six years, deportations of criminals are actually up 80 uh, percent. They are not deporting people uh, in the numbers that uh, have been deported in the past, and they're counting people that they apprehend at the border and turn back around. The Bush administration did not count those as deportation. They simply apprehend them at the border, send them back in uh, to Mexico the uh, next day. That didn't count as deportation. The Obama administration has started counting those, and that has driven those numbers up. But the actual deportations from the interior of the country are way down. This administration is not in Enforcing our immigration laws, and quite frankly, I don't think they care. And this is this tragedy in San Francisco, which is repeated every day around the country, doesn't get this kind of notoriety, is the product of that lack of caring about respect for the rule of law and enforcing our laws. Mr. Chairman, thanks very much for your time this morning.